What is the hardest part about dating in Los Angeles? Being so good looking. <laughs> like you're so good looking? So what, the guys are not on your level? They just are lost. They get lost in the sun. So you're so good looking that it's hard to find someone that is worth your time. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Because yeah. it's hard to get on it's hard to get to know them on a deeper level because they're just so caught up. Oh my god. You're like the shit. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> what kind of guys ask you out then? All different kind of guys. And they're not good enough. I haven't met the right guy yet. Why? Like what's wrong with them? Too shallow. What? Go deeper. Why? Like, just they're just saying for the look? That's what I'm saying. Literally. All right, so what kind of guy are you going for then? I'm going for a guy who, who wants 100 years of marriage, who wants to fight for my love, who wants to treat me like it's my birthday every freaking day. I hate you. I know, man. That's a lot of work. That's not a lot of work. You don't think so? Not at all. And for the right guy, it's not going to be a lot of work. What is Look, what's so crazy, man? Like, some chicks be so lost, dog. You know what I'm saying? Understand something, ladies. Your beauty fades. You know what I'm saying? Like, the shelf life of your beauty is not a very long time. Because what happened with some women is when they are in their prime, instead of them trying to find a man who is going to want to marry them and take them serious, instead they, they go around thinking, oh, man, all these guys want me. But then when you ask her the type of dude that she really wants, she really don't know. That's why I say like a lot of these chicks be so lost and by the time they hit probably like 30, they wonder, damn, why am I single? Like, why I can't find a man? Now this chick is thinking that she can't find a man because she is the shit. She looks so fucking beautiful. But what chicks like her feel to understand is like, yo, a whole batch of beautiful, attractive women hit the market every single summer. A fresh new batch, okay? So why are you trying to hold off and shit your aging? You're getting older. Your beauty's fading. And before you know it, you wouldn't be able to find a man. That's why people, it's good in life to always be humble. You can be confident, but be humble. Never think you're too beautiful for guys. Because what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is this. You'll reach about 30 and the type of dude that you will end up with, it's not going to be the guy that you expected. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's be careful out here, man. Because when you try to have this type of um, arrogance about yourself, life always humble you. That's the thing about life, man. Life is going to humble you, man. And people, beauty fades. Understand that. So all these chicks who be running around talking about, yo, these dudes want me because I'm beautiful the thing about it is like a dude might get with you because you're beautiful and then let's say he been with you for like two three years and your beauty fades he might jump ship because it's like that's all you brought to the table your beauty what else you got see what i'm saying so it is what it is man fellas be smart out here fam and chicks like this right here don't take a chick like this serious you know what i'm saying take out on the date if that's what you gotta do to smash but do what you gotta do but smash and dash this is another type of chick that you want to grow up with that's just the bottom line and you hurt me so guess what now you're trapped not only not only not only do you not, not only do you hate me, but now you stuck with me. Now you stuck with me, bitch. I would be your worst nightmare. I would be your worst motherfucking nightmare. I would be your worst nightmare. Child support? Oh, I need all that. Just be at the hospital and be, be ready to swap your be ready to swap your mouth. Be ready to swap your motherfucking mouth. That's what you do. Cause I need all moms. Cause I need all moms. Cause I need all moms. Bitch, you ain't hurt me. I hurt you. I hurt you. I was never faking you. I played under you. Not only did I play under you, I got what I wanted. Not only did I get what I want, his real daddy was in prison to take care of him. <laughs> Not only that, you should have knew about turning the truck, turning the hole into a housewife. That was your fault, baby boy. That was your fault because you thought it was real L. You were the last boy. I could never take you serious. Never. Never. <laughs> Not since the truth out now. I don't give a fuck no more. Because his daddy finna get out. I don't give a fuck no more. But guess what? Not only did you do that, but, but you was still around. You still was around. 
every night. What car at? What car doing? But you was still playing that. Fuck the group. Fuck me. I got what I was doing. Thank you for being there. But his dad seen me get out. But just be ready to swap your mouth when I have my baby. Just be ready to just be ready to swap your mouth when I have my baby. Cause cause guess what? Cause guess what? Bitch, I don't give a fuck, but I'm a pay ho, and I don't fuck for free. I don't fuck for free. I don't fuck for free. <laughs> Remember, his dad is Alan Rush, you a bitch. His dad is Alan Rush, you a bitch. I was getting that money. I was getting that money, because bitch, I'm all about mines. I'm all about mines. <laughs> Brother. Son, listen, man. Fellas, I tell you dudes all the time, bro. Keep away from low-hanging fruits, bro. Run. Run as far as you can. Y'all tripping, man. And if you're gonna smash a chick like this, bro, make sure you strap up, dog. Make sure you put on two rubbers. And if you ain't... I'll never advise a man not to use a rubber on a chick like this. See what I'm saying? But let's say you, whatever reason you don't put on the condom, don't come in her. Paint her face. Bust in the face. That's what you do. Is that you gotta treat a bird like a bird. Spray that shit in the face, man. Now you stuck with this chick for 18 years of your life. A baby mama from hell. Do you understand what you about to deal with, bro? Fellas, stress kills, man. Women could deal with stress better than than men <laughs> and understand that women love drama they love all that extra shit we not built for that we ain't got time to be dealing with a headache for 18 years of our life bro that shit gonna mess up our money it's gonna mess up our peace of mind fellas this is not good man so i tell you dudes all the time man protect your seed man don't be busting in these broads man you better off making a swallow that shit fam Make that shit disappear, baby. Do magic on my shit. Like, I don't want to even see my shit. You know what I'm saying? Do a magic trick real quick. But fellas, don't come in these chicks, man. I'm telling y'all, man. This is crazy right here, man. This chick got a baby in her hand, and she's pregnant. And she's saying that the baby in her hand, baby daddy about to come home. So her dude is in jail right now. He about to come home to his baby mama, pregnant by another dude. And she's on live telling the other dude that she gonna get him for child support because she need all hers. Whew. This right here is poverty, bro. Like, we gotta evolve, people. That's why I tell y'all dudes all the time, man. Take your time out here, fam. Choosing your baby mother is a major responsibility for a man because it could determine your future. Imagine having a kid by her. Imagine how that kid is gonna turn out if she's raising your kid. Sad situation, man. Sad situation, dog. Fellas, man, focus on yourself out here. Self-improve, man. Elevate. Once you do these type of things, these type of things will allow you to keep away from low hanging fruits because as a man elevate he have to cut the fat he have to get rid of the people who's holding them back <sighs> and he also gonna make smart decisions he's not gonna dump in a chick like this because he gonna understand the value of his seed sad situation man fellas pay attention out here man don't be stuck in a situation like this okay <laughs> Don't be stuck in a situation like this, like this, and that's just the bottom line, man. I'm out. And girls and guys just be friends. Of course. Stop the cap. This is yeah. your friend. Yeah. We can and be friends. Is that what you guys got going on? You lousy. Why are you asking so many? You're protecting yourself. Check this out. Don't fight against a man. Oh, so it's like this is a sneaky. Yeah. yeah. It's an evil world we live in. Yeah, he don't care. It is what it is, man. <laughs> This is crazy right here. This is why I tell you dudes all the time, bro. Yo, if your girl have any male friends, cut her loose, bro. Leave her alone, dog. Think about it. Why do your girl need a male friend in her life when she got you, if you're her boyfriend? Why? What do she need a male friend for? What is the purpose of a male friend? Yo, that's why I tell you dudes all the time, yo, if your girl have a best friend, it's either two things. It's either she's fucking him or she's gonna fuck him. Because I understand what that whole best friend thing is. Like, if you meet a girl and then she goes, well, I do have a male best friend that's just a dude who turned her into his side chick that's the one dude that 
don't want to be with her but she can't let him go she can't leave him alone so she's always going to hold on to him so no matter who she get with after him she's always going to be like he's my male best friend in other words he's not going anywhere so whenever she's mad at you she probably gonna go fuck him it is what it is fellas but the bottom line bro girls and guys can't just be best friends it's damn near impossible bro so all i'm saying to y'all is this man pay attention to the signs dog pay attention to the signs if your girl is talking about oh well i got a friend from the job she fucking that dude or she's gonna fuck that that's just what it comes down to so as a man just take heed fellas if your girl have any guy friends leave her alone what can her guy friends do for her that you can't do for her think about that i'm just saying man so if your girl insists that she needs a guy best friend he's probably doing something that you're not doing that's all i'm saying bro that's all i'm saying all right so fellas man be wise out here fam focus on yourself dog focus on yourself that's the best thing that a man could do out here right now is to focus on himself and know when to walk away that's what it is